Tessie. Where are you going? Out of your hands. Have you gone out of your senses? I'm talking to you. How dare you smoke in my house? Am I not talking to you? Get your filthy hands off me. Now listen to this. You had better behave yourself by putting it on a cigarette before you get me angry. And that's exactly what I intend doing getting you angry. Stop putting that thing on me. Now put out that cigarette. Take a look at that. And what's this? Huh? You find out yourself. Some kind of joke. Stop throwing that up. What's wrong with you? I will not tolerate that in my bedroom. You can't turn my house into a nightclub. Of course you know your wife doesn't give. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. Uh, look, Sylvia, if you think going back to a habit you dropped just because you want to get, a, get, get back at me is the best way to get about it, then you must be making a very big mistake.
going to stop this or stop all this. Oh, my please don't try this next time. I beg you in the name of God, please. I'm only going to be in your spirit. Mama, is that why you want to be in When you invited the total stranger into my house without informing me, it's as if it was to be your own. I asked him. Ah, he's not a stranger. He's the son of my colleague, back at the teacher in college. He's a nice man. And I knew he'd say he would like him. He's an important man. He'd bring him photos and everything. Hmm. I don't know. I know you would like him. Important man, man. Hey! Do you ever give up? Let's go. For you start with a bad thing, you don't want You will like him, my daughter. Let's go. Oh, my daughter. I know you will like him. Hi, I'm Mr. Mokoro Felix, Mokoro International. I deal with all kinds of goods. I import and export. May I meet you, my dear? That won't be necessary. The question is, what do you want? But actually, you know, I've once seen you in a wedding ceremony uh, some time ago. And the type of woman I would like to have as my wife, as Mokoro International. Do you understand what I'm saying? Was that why you were so primitive as to approach me through my mother? Just have a good look at yourself. You're not even sure of yourself. But let me give you an advice as a friend to my mother. You go out there and get something of your type. A pot bellied or civilized illiterate that will suit you. I am not interested, please. Rosalie, is that how to talk to a man you just met? Mama, please stay off this one. Who is a man? This pot bellied illiterate. Excuse me, excuse me. Mokoro International, you're talking to like that. Mm. Mokoro International, all over the world. Ask about Mokoro. Go to Germany, go to Holland, then go to England, ask them about Mokoro. Mm. Any airport I've been to, I have a standby driver over there. Do you understand? Imagine you, I'll buy you by your family, buy anybody that concerns. Talk less of you, get out, shall you? Get out. Get out. Get out. Just look at me. What do you think you are doing? Mama, if you were not my mother, I would have done something so nasty that you would not be in a hurry to forget. How could you just bring anyone into my house to embarrass me in my own house, Mama? Eh? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Mm. At the age of 35, mm -hmm. you are still driving men away from yourself. Eh? What do you hope to achieve? At what age do you think I got Mama, to Mama, don't just bring that now. Maybe Papa was your choice. That's why my father is handsome. All those things you've brought here so far doesn't suit my test. The fact that I am not yet married, Mama, doesn't mean that I don't have test when it comes to men. Shut up your mouth. <sighs> Shut up! At your age, you are still thinking like a teenager. Mm. Settling your realistic standard for your man you want to marry. Listen, and listen very well. You have to look out for the most important quality in a man. Such as a man with good character. One. A man with, with God-fearing heart. Two. A man that is honest. Three. And a kind-hearted man. That is what you need. Are you sinful, Mama? Mama, you see, despite your own stubbornness and my own stubbornness, we still have something in common. You see? To add to what you've just said, Mama, the man I must end up with got to be tall, handsome, learned, very, very learned, very, very civilized, and very romantic. Keep your mouth shut. Thank you. Keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Because you are a woman. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, for 
frustration will set in. Why not you for that time? Away for that time. That, that, for that, time. that is why I will be worried about you. Uh, oh, my baby. Mama. <laughs> Love it. What are you doing here? What kind of a question is that? I came to see Mama, of course. Couldn't you have invited her over to your house? Haven't I told you not to step in those stinking legs in here again? <laughs> Rosely, not when I'm around. Your rule end the moment I'm around. Ah, ah, what is it? No more respect again. What is wrong with you, brother? Get out. I said leave my house right now. Get out. Okay. In that case, get out. I'm going back to the village. Because I won't stand here and watch you two quarreling. Mama, Mama, please. Please, Mama. I didn't mean to upset you, please. Come back, please, don't go. Behave as a senior. You shameless thing. You are not shameless. Mama, how are you? I'm fine. I came to see you when I heard you were in Rosie's house. How are you, Mama? Look at you. to check on you since you didn't bother calling. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. Only that I've been very busy these days. That's why you don't see much of me. Busy to the level that you can't call me? You know this business is running from one office to the other, for one contract or the other. It's been hectic. Mm. It doesn't give me time. Jokes. But I promise I'll make it up for you. Promise? Yes, I cross my Darling! Mind. Sweetheart! Love it. I don't know, my sister. I don't know. I'm not surprised. I knew she's up to something. And how do you mean? To be frank with yourself, brother, you would have known she's become tired of you. And as a matter of fact, I knew she would. No, what exactly are you driving at, Tessie? I can't understand why you insisted on marrying someone who is your complete opposite. And what business of yours is it? That's why you're having problems with her. Because you ignore my advice. Think of it, brother. Just think of it. No man in his right senses would, would want to marry such a wayward lady as so. Will you shut up your mouth? How dare you speak ill of my wife? Now listen to me, let me warn you, Tessie. Let this be the first and last time you will ever in your life speak ill of my wife. Did you get that? And let this be the last time you will seek my advice whenever you get into trouble with her. Now you get out of this place. Get out! Do I blame you? Because I sought your advice and what?
we die. No one would ever like to leave you. Alright. Do you know how many times you make me feel alright? The excess is so much. Come on, come on, honey. You, you, you talk as if you had the rich orgasm. Hmm? <laughs> well, most men hardly satisfy their women. Hmm? Some of them might be weak. Oh, that's one thing I hate my husband for. Honey, since you don't love him, why did you marry him? What? I'm just asking. Oh, please don't ask me that question, okay? Unless you want to spoil my happiness. Come on, of course not. Hmm? You know I would never want you sad. Hmm? You know why? Come on, look at me. You know why? Because you're the most amazing, understanding, wonderful, and pretty guy I've known. Hmm? <laughs> also, I love you. Yeah. Oh, that's why I love you so much. I used to know that kept guys on their toes way back on campus. Campus one mm -hmm. ends within the campus. I want to settle down. I want to have a home. You know, I want to be committed. I, I... And what has that got to do with living your life to the fullest? Come on, don't tell me you don't believe in love. And what if I do? I mean, what's wrong if you find a man who's, who's wonderful? I mean, who's who's enchanted, and then you want to settle down? Come on, love it. Don't be a fool. Come on. 
Your husband is out there catching his phone with other ladies. He said, look at you, you're Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. Come on, baby. Sonia! Oh, come on. Wait! Change the topic, okay? Come on. <laughs> come on, sit down here. All right, I'll be here. I'll be here. So, how are you doing? Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Okay, I'll wait for her. We have an appointment. But I'm sorry, you can't. You have to come back. For what? I said I'll wait. I insist you won't. Because I'm going out. And I can't leave you here. She's going out soon. Service. Can you imagine that? Mama, you want me to forgive her just like that? After all that she did to me. Mama, she took away the only man I've ever loved in my entire life. Mama, please. My daughter, whatever happened, she's still your sister. Please forgive her. Please, my dear, forgive her. Moreover, Rosalyn, frankly speaking, you and Chooks were not in any serious relationship, you know, before Lovett came into the picture. I mean, you were more like ordinary friends. So don't let it get at you. And what was she supposed to do, Jesse? She knew I was in love with Chus. Was she supposed to go and destroy the relationship that I was building? I trusted her, Mama. I confided in her that I was in love with Chus. The only thing she did is to go behind me and take away his heart. It was all my fault. She meant to stay back to continue with the film where she sat. But I persuaded her to come down and join your film. Had it been she stayed back, all this wouldn't have happened. All the same, Rosalie, don't let it bother you, okay? Leave everything in the hands of God. As a Christian, just let it be. Mama, I will forgive. Not now. It hurts. Let me deal with it in my own way. It hurts. Ah, but it's not going to be today, tomorrow, unless I have to go through this, Mama, please. I understand. Please, Mama. Please. I can't go through this it's anymore. Okay. I can't go through this. <laughs>
because I wanted to go out. But you never did. I changed my mind. How dare you? How dare you insult my friend in my own matrimony home? You just have to shout at me. You don't. After all, I thought my brother warned you never to invite that girl to this house again. Is that so? Yes. And that's what encouraged you to be so stupid. Whatever. Now let me warn you. The next time you try such rubbish, I'm going to skin you alive. explanation as to why that woman or that lady should step her feet into my house against my warning. Are you any better? Sylvia, that does not answer my question. Since you started keeping the company of that woman again, you've been behaving very funny. And I believe a company is the very reason why you've been behaving very responsibly lately. You know what? I have not just embraced her company again, but also every single habit I dropped if I married you. close to my wife again because you are a bad influence on her and what gave you the guts to come in here shouting at me hey listen to me Salome or whatever they call you the next time I see you anywhere close to my house I will do much more than shouting because you're destroying my home you are the one destroying your home today take a look at yourself you're such a big flat I even wonder where you get the energy for extramarital fun considering you're a weakling in life. Go ahead. Why not go ahead and touch me today? And I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Silly. Well, you will make me lose my manners. How dare you? Is your sister Tessie better than me? Don't go and settle your marital problems. Keep looking for who to put the blames on. Nonsense. You slapped me. And if you come anywhere near me, I'll break your head. Why me? Tell me why me. Baby said she won't be mine. Now my cocoa gets a why. 
So tell me why me? Why me? They try me. So tell me why me? They try me. They try me. Where is the packet of secrets I left on this side? Too? Love me? Try you. Are you out of your senses? What, what, what's wrong? Who do you think you are? Huh? What's wrong with you kids? I will teach you a lesson. Smoking in the living room, you could go someplace else. All right? Brother, is that what you're saying? Oh, yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm not even biased. I'm not even biased. I'm not even biased. I'm not even biased. You're not even biased. Look at her. What kind of. What am I not going to say in this house? What's wrong with this Tessie? Tessie! Tessie! Well, Tessie! yourself. Okay, see, I think the both of us need to talk. Of course we need to talk. Yes, we need to talk! But on one condition. That silly girl you call your sister must leave this house at once. Excuse me? What did you say? You heard me right, Jide. I said she must leave this house at once. Else I'll leave.
Sylvia. I'm sorry, okay? I'll make sure Tessie apologizes to you over the insult, okay? That's not enough. I want her to leave my house. Excuse me? I mean, do you realize what you're talking about? I should send my only sister out of my house? At least that would teach her a lesson. To stay out of my way. No, come on, Sylvia. Sylvia, don't be asking for too much, okay? Yeah, I can do that. But I promise you that I'll make sure Tessie apologizes to you. Please. Please. If she doesn't leave in the next 48 hours, then I'll leave. I don't want you to see it that way, please. Rather see it as if you're going on some kind of vacation, okay? I have already contacted my agent and I asked him to help get you an apartment. You're only going to be there for a while, okay? I, I can't believe you're doing this. I can't. <laughs> I don't understand. I want you to understand where I'm coming from. I need time to woo my wife back to myself. I need time to win her love back again. And I can't do that with you here. Not with all the wranglings and quarrels every day. Sweetheart, please. So, I'm the sacrificial goat right? Please. No, Tessie. Please, don't say it that way. Huh? How do you want me to say it? How? You're the only brother I have in this world. And you're actually sending me away from your house to appease your wife! But you are still my responsibility. <laughs> And you continue to be. Tessie, why did you see it as if you're moving from this house to another house of mine? 
Okay. I'm sorry. No, I love me. You have to accept the new apartment your brother has offered to you. No, I won't. I don't want to depend on him any longer. After all, I'm working. I can always take care of myself. Yeah, but this is an emergency. Even if you have the money to, to have a new apartment, it's going to take you some time. You see? I mean, just, just take his. I mean, where will, where will you put up till you're able to find something? You mean? Stay here too. I'm able to fix up myself in a new apartment. Of course, you know you can't stay here now. Because. Because. Because I, 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 I can't let you in. I, I need some privacy. What other privacy would you need from someone you claim to love? You say you have to understand. How do you want me to understand? My brother just asked me to leave his house and here I am only to be committed by your friend. Oh, 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 take it easy. Ah. Oh, 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 what was all shouting about? All I'm saying is, take your brother's offer. Now don't take me to that guilty lane because I'm not going there. All right? No. No, I know better. What are you talking about? So where, where, where are you going? Come, Tess, where are you going? Denying me of my matrimonial right. I have done everything possible to impress you. I've done everything possible to make you understand how much I love you, how much I care for you. I've gone up to the extent of sending away my only sister away from this house just to impress you. What more do you want from me? that listen since this photograph issue you've never been yourself sweetheart the girl in question in the photograph I have told you I do not know I've sworn everything I've never set my eyes on that girl I don't know where she's from because I know she's the very reason why you, you were doing all this to me. So come on, for crying out loud, I'm a man. I have feelings, I have feelings. Feelings? By the way, what do you want? Huh? Sex? What do you know about sex? How many times have you led me on, huh? Yet you have the guts to call yourself a man. You know what's best for you? Don't you disturb my sleep tonight. You'll be a boy. What is love without a proof?
honey, I would like you to take very good care of yourself while I'm away, okay? No, I won't. Why? Because I'll miss you. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll miss you too, but don't worry. I'll be calling you from time to time. I promise you, you wouldn't lack anything. I want to lack everything. I don't want you to go. <laughs> oh, I must go. Uh, Stanley! Sir! Put your two hands on your ear and listen cleverly. Take my wife anywhere and at any time she wants to go. Don't let her drive herself. Yes, sir. I repeat, don't let her drive herself. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Honey? I love you. I love you too. I have to go now so that I will miss my flight. No. You're not leaving me here. Oh. I'm going with you. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. And I'm just an unavoidable one year course. I must attend. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, you go buy something from you. But if you fail in any of the instructions I've given you, you know what that means? Yes, sir. Since morning, I never seen her. This is getting
Uh, yes, Salome. Good day. This is Jide. Yes, Jide, what is it? How did you even get my number? It doesn't matter how you know. Please, have you seen your friend? Or do you in any way know her whereabouts? What a stupid question. For crying out loud, okay? She's your friend. You know, I don't find my husband uh, as interesting as you are. Moreover, I don't want to be subjected to any man's laws. I only do what gives me joy and pleasure. Mm. Honey, mm -hmm. tell me, honestly, for how long will this crush be? Hmm? I don't know. Oh, I wish I never married him. Honestly, I wish I never married him. Well, that's by the way. Ma, can we go again? Come hmm? on, honey, aren't you tired? Since yesterday night. Oh, come on, please, huh? Okay, okay, see, can't you do something else? Some, some, something unusual? Like what? Just play, geez, you know, have fun, play, you know, just dance. Ma, come on, listen, listen, okay? You know exactly what I'm talking about, huh? Oh, it's okay, okay. Um, oh, that reminds me, honey. Honestly speaking, tell me. Uh, where would you tell your husband you were yesterday? Is that a question? Please just leave that to me, okay? I can always handle it. Alright? Yeah, it's okay. Come on. Then, can we go again? You know what? Come, come. Look at me. Look at me. Close your eyes. Don't do it. Don't pee. Just close for us. Okay, close. Okay. Serious? Mm-hmm. Close Where are you coming from? Is that a question? Sylvia, where did you sleep last night? In a hotel with my boyfriend. Excuse me? Did I hear you right? Of course you heard me right, Jide, you liar! I said in a hotel with my boyfriend. What you cannot do, he did it! You old weakly! You took a bitch! You a mad or something! <laughs> You're for another again. You! I did! My dog, my dog! 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 You think I leave my house anytime I come back? Where, where are you? Sula, Sula, please, 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 please,
had enough of this marriage. Do you hear me? I'm very sorry, Hapudu. Please, I'm sorry I slapped you. It will never happen again. Hey! I promise you. Keep the apology to yourself. I don't need it. Do you hear me? I need some fun. I need to catch up some fresh air. I need freedom. I'll give it to you. I know you're not fun. You know it. I will change, okay? I will change. Sweet heart, sweet heart. Let me go! Sweet heart, sweet heart. Hello? Yeah, who is this? I say, who am I speaking with? Who? Clement Okafor. Clement Okafor, from where? Have we met before? You, you what? Want to have a date with me? Today? Okay, tomorrow. Um, Mr. Clement, you are Clement from the distributor from Alaba Market. Am I right? Uh, Mr. Clement, I'm sorry I can't have a date with you. Good day. This, this is just the, the problem with me. Eh, Jessica, why is my own case so different? I'm not very illiterate. The learned one don't come to me. Phone call, illiterate. Jesse, I'm tired. Why, why, why is everything about me so different? Look, Rosalind, I quite understand you. But well, you have to take a positive step. Get close to God. Talk to Him. And He will give you a man of your choice. And of course, fulfill all your heart desires. You're telling me to get close to God. Just you know me now. We grew together. Have I been far? Have I been far from this God? I'm very close with Him. I'm just. I am with God now. Rosalind, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being born again. Look, it's high time you make a choice with Christ. And you, you have a lot to gain. Uh. Yes. So, once I give my life to Christ, automatically I get married. Mm -hmm. Look, Rosalind, apart from the promises of eternal life, mm -hmm. this husband problem will be a forgotten issue. You mean, in spite of my age, I can still get a man of my choice? Trust God. Wow. Look at me, for instance. How did I meet my husband? Where? How? It was all a miracle. And you know it. Anyway, you're right. Jesse, look at you. You have a husband. You have a good home. You've got children. <laughs> what else? You have everything. Well, Rosalind, there is nothing God cannot do. But first things first. Mm -hmm. You have to give your life to Christ and every other thing will be added unto you. Look at you, a general manager, very comfortable. All you need now is God's intervention. Try him, he's the ultimate, and you won't regret it, okay? You've won. I'm giving my life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I feel like flying. So we're flying! <laughs> I've missed a lot. I wonder why I didn't give my life to Christ all this time. What is important is that you have done it. From now, watch and see what the Lord will do in your life henceforth. Amen! Ah! But, Jesse, the only problem I have is this class, believers class or whatever they call it, eh? Then you have to create time. As a new convert, it's important. Just as the pastor said, 
because it's the teachings that really make you understand what it means to be a child of God and a good Christian too. Yes. So you have to pray time to come. Because the pastor said it. That's the answer. No problem. You're going with me. Of course, why not? Christianity, man! Mark, I don't think you have the slightest knowledge about what I'm talking about. Now, if you don't, maybe I have the need to tear open your skull and put into your skull what exactly I'm talking about. Vital, secret information about my company is getting into the wrong hands and these people are using it against us can you hear that can you get that and you expect me to believe that you the accountant of this company do not know anything about it oh no sir with all due respect how could you accuse me of such a thing because you are the accountant of this company so you should be my first subject of suspicion. Sir. Oh yes. Sir. I have been working for you now for a couple of years. I am surprised you can see suspect me over such a serious allegation. Everybody I suspect is a suspect. Everybody. Because my company is going into shambles. My business is collapsing. Nothing is going on here. Nothing is happening anymore here. Can't you get that? Can't you get it? Nothing is working here anymore. I get out of my office. Get out of my office. All I say. By the time I'm through with him, he'll be worse than a cops. What do I stand to gain after all this? What do you want to gain? Hmm? Honey, I'm in love with you. You are the only woman who has ever made me proud for being a man. I feel the same way about you too. I doubt you do. Rather you're in love with my body and not me. You're only crazy about the sexual feelings you get for me. At least that puts you steps ahead of my ex-husband. Look, why don't we forget about this, huh? We can talk about this some other time. Okay, baby. Now I know how painful it can be to love without being loved in return. I think I deserve more than this, honey. Because of you, I've done a couple of things that I never thought I could do. What other things have you done because of me? Because I know only one thing. And that was to leak vital information about Jida's friend to his competitors. Oh, really? Any other thing? Celia, Celia. You will understand. You will never understand.
ever had such a nice fun. I'm sure you know this is just the beginning. I wonder why Jude we allow such a wonderful lady as you mm -hmm. to walk out of his life. If I were him, I would have done everything possible to keep you. <laughs> Don't mind him, he doesn't know my worth. <laughs> so, what is it he said you wanted us to discuss? Yes. Mr. Samson, I need a favor from you. It's done. Just mention it. There is this young man that works in your ministry by name Mr. Mr. Mekaze. Mekaze? Do I know him? Sure, you know him. The one Jide recommended to you sometime last year. Oh, I recollected now. Okay. So what about him? I want his appointment terminated. What for? I don't want to go into that. Just do it for me. Okay, okay. It's done. That's why I love you. Again, Mr. Samson. Jide is currently working on a contract he received uh, from your ministry. Yeah. I want that contract terminated and rewarded to me. You know, that wouldn't be possible. Why not? That contract was awarded directly from the minister. Mr. Samson, as the director general, you can always convince the minister that Jide's firm is incompetent based on the present crisis he's facing. Emeka, you mean there is no explanation for this? None at all. None. Why is this happening to me now? I mean, when I'm in such financial mess, why now? Ah. Emeka, relax. Hmm? Take it easy, okay? God has a reason for everything, okay? And I know that the God I serve will soon provide you with a job. I know you will be crazy, but notwithstanding, I just have to tell you. You see, don't you think it's time you gave your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior? Hey, Dennis, please, just, just spare me that religious crap, all right? I just lost a bloody job, man. I don't need this. I don't. Come on. Emeka, that's one thing with you. You don't, you don't believe in God, Emeka. You don't want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Emeka, what's your problem? They don't have to do so often. Is that Sylvie? You don't have to be unreasonable. Why involve that young man in your quarrel with Jide and his sister? <laughs> look, look, look. I am not just out to deal with Jide and Tessie, but also anyone that has emotional ties with them. It's so unfortunate Emeka fell into the category. But you know it's not right. You know that. Who cares? Who cares what is wrong or right? All I care about is what gives me joy. <laughs> Sometimes you talk as if you are all powerful. <laughs> At least to Jide and Tessie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who? I said, where is my brother? My dear, me, I tell you, say, okay, I go for hospital. Hospital? How come? What happened? So yesterday, for for someone I carry and come for letter. Uh -huh. I say I give one for Oga. Oga I read on for letter. Someone tell Oga I faint. Faint? Did you say faint? God. Okay. Well, why is the hospital? Me, I don't know for the hospital, but I know say Oga I read for hospital. I'm going to go and me why? Come on, me. I know get on for phone. Oga I know by phone, so I know be calling for anybody. Hello, Mr. Jide Okafor. 
This is to inform you that the contract you are presently handling, awarded to you by the Ministry of Finance, is hereby terminated with immediate effect. I am giving you a pre-information as a friend. You will receive an official copy in your office. Sorry for any inconvenience this may cause you. I hope say why my mom why I know I know the wrong. I don't know what, what I have done to deserve all this. My business is ruined. My family gone. That contract, that contract was the only hope I had. I had to get back on my feet. is gone. The contract is gone. This Who must I offend them? That I do not know. Mother, please. You shouldn't be talking about this now. It will only worsen your situation. Why not forget about all of us and rest your mind? I believe God knows why he has allowed all this to happen. Please, brother, I beg of you. I know God is on your side. You're going to stand on your feet again. Please. Please, brother. That youth is in Canada. I'm sure you must be lonely. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am, but I'm managing somehow. Oh, come on, please. Don't stop managing. Ah! You are certainly not love it I used to know. What has Jukes done to you? Huh? Sylvia, nothing. I I just love him. I love him very much. Spare me that. Stupid love. I don't believe in love anyway. <laughs> Oh, Salome. Love it. <clears throat> Meet Salome, my bosom friend. Salome, this is Love it. My friend back on campus days. Hi. You set for the party? As you can see, I'm ready. Love it, I hope you're going with us. <laughs> no, no, I... I'm not in the mood for parties. And by the way, I, I don't attend like parties anymore. Excuse me? Come on, it won't do you any harm. Or oh, you prefer going back home, bundled up, thinking about Chus who is catching his phone in Canada, huh? Oh. Is she the one you told me her husband is in faraway Canada for a year cause? Oh yeah, she's the one. Baby girl, you better wake up. Your husband is in faraway Canada catching some fun with those white honey girls. Mm -hmm. And you're here. Dying in silence. Mm -hmm. Think, girl. Use your head. Hmm? Let's go catch some fun. Oh, Billy, I, I don't want to go. And Chicks is different. He's very really? different. Different indeed. Oh, please, please wake up. Don't tell me Chicks will be a whole year in Canada without those white babes flocking around him. Hmm? Don't mind her. Sylvia, baby. Oh. Let's start going. Love it. You're coming with us, aren't you? Um, 
No, really, I... Oh, yeah? You're coming. Well, maybe let's go catch some fun. Let's go shake your body, you know? Huh? Your body, okay? See, you need not stay all night, okay? Once it's getting dark, you can leave. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Come, Come on. on. Well, okay. Yeah. That's the spirit. Alright, let's go. Hope you're not leaving Fine. See, I'm. I came to apologize. I came to apologize for what happened. I'm sorry. I want you to know it won't happen again. Hey, hey, come on. Here I am saying I'm sorry. You're not saying anything. What's up? You're not saying anything. Okay. Okay. I'm forgiving you. Thank you. I really missed you, you know? I'm sorry you lost your job. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. We we'll always get by. Sure. We lose the job, we'll get one. <laughs> sure. Sure. So, how are you doing? How are you coping? Where are you staying now? Um, I'm with a friend now, but by next month, I will be moving into my own apartment. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. But, do you think it is necessary? Why? I mean, you know, you can always come and stay with me. It's just Dennis and I, you know. Three is not going to be a crowd. <laughs> Besides, you're my girlfriend, you know, you, you can stay with me. And save all that money for something. I only appreciate your kindness. But I'm afraid I would prefer an apartment for myself. Yeah, I agree. But what I'm saying is, why don't you just save this money, stay with me, so you can use the money for better things? Like spend it on you? You don't have to put it. You only come looking for me when you think you need me. The other time you were all over me because you need my brother's influence to secure a job. No, 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 that's not true. You don't still love me. That's not true. You only have to wait and get from me. Okay, okay, maybe before I was just insensitive. But I'm a changed man now. Things have changed. Do you understand? Alright? I don't believe you. You're only pretending. Please, I'd, I'd love to be left alone. What I'm saying is just give me benefit of the doubt. Just the benefit of the doubt. Please go. Please, I don't want my boss to see you here. Please. Of course, I miss you. The whole house is empty without you. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. You called last night. Oh, yes, my battery was ex very, very low. Mm, the phone went off. I'm so sure it went off. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, baby, I'm fine, really. Promise you'll call me this night. All right, I love you. Mwah. I love you more. Bye. But I don't know. Is that supposed to be a good morning or what? But I'm done with seven, by the way. Uh, what thing I won't find out? Nah. Where you been there yesterday night? City in at 2 a.m. You can't they come back. Come carry two women way big. With them dressed like masquerade. They enter inside house. You don't know, say I they sleep. You shut up. Your shut up. Are you crazy? Eh? 
Stanley. You better take your time. Are you monitoring me or what? Yeah. Madam, I don't know monitor you. I know they monitor you. I they only tell you what I suppose to tell you. Married woman like you, no suppose they come out, they stay for nights like that. Have you no know, no say that snake where they get one eye, if it to bite you. You are crazy. Get out of my sight. I said you get out. Uh, I think get out too. But before I come out, look, I tell you one final truth. When you come out for night, or have been called for 10 p.m. <laughs> what did you ask? Ah, I just say you know fear. I got call for 10 p.m. I tell and say you don't come out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tell and say you don't come out. Now I mean come they ask why I no drive you go the place where you go. I'm not gonna lie to Oga. I can't tell and say the injector. You go inside carburetor. Carburetor can't spoil the whole engine. Now you will come pack motor. So you can't come out. But next time, mm, I no go lie for your head again, no. I no go lie yo. I like you. You know why I like you? Because you are very, very smart. That's why I just like you naturally. You mean that? I like you. I just, I just like you. Because you are a wise man. Oh. Ah. This one la bribery, yo. This one la bribery, number one. Now this one we anti-corruption crusade. They talk against. No, eh? no. Uh uh. No. Okay. I'm just giving it to you as a sign of appreciation. Eh? Let me try you. Eh, hey, but eh. Uh, you for still top up. That one way to make for your hand. You for do me. I get something for mind. Make you for do me. Eh? I will get out. I go tell a girl. Stanley. Complete the money. I go tell a girl. I know. I was going to give it to you. I was just joking with you. Stanley, Stanley. <laughs> but, um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh. Welcome. 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 How did the interview go? <laughs> interview? It went pretty bad. Man, I don't understand. It was like those guys were just picking on me. It was so frustrating, man. Hey, man, can stop prophesying negative. Let's believe God will do it for you this time around. You know, sometimes I just wish I am into private practice like you. Private practice has its own ups and downs. Uh, what? I cook food. Make food. You know I can't cook. I don't have the time for cooking. So cook this. Jesse. Jesse. You came? Jesse, you came? Met at the party. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Fine guy. Which guy is that? Ah, why are you pretending? Sonny now. He rocked you well at the dance floor. Well, you better don't miss him because if you do, I'll take him. Yeah, please do have him. Really? Okay, no. I like him, yes, but I don't think I'm ready for yes from my to now. I just mm -hmm. I just want us to be friends, you know? And by the way, the guy you introduced to me as your boyfriend was. Different from the same guy I saw you hanging out with at the party. Why? Why is that? Oh, Bio is my new catch, but Mark is still there for me anyway. 
But it's very simple. Soja goes, soja comes. Barakti remains the same. <laughs> oh no, I oh, hate to please. hear it. I, well, I'll catch my phone. If you don't want to catch up, and I'll catch my phone, baby. <laughs> Are you shaking? Talk like that. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, all right, baby girl. I'll see you later. No, okay? No. I mean, you're not just going to go like that. I'm going. Hey, come on. I don't have anything I'm doing here. You Let me come with you. Uh mm huh. -hmm. But why don't you help him? Let's go. No. Uh uh. Uh uh. I am not going with your car. Reasons because I don't want to have to pick a cab. I hate to pick a cab. You know the stress and all that. No. All right. No problem. Why don't you get your car? Let's go. Right. Perfect. Stanley. Stanley. Give me the car keys, I want to go out. You say? I said, give me the car keys. I want to go out. Where you want to go? Who are you to ask me such a question? Madam, I better make you no know vex. You go wait for me for here. Make I go inside house, go lock my door. If I come out, I go drive you, go anywhere where you want me to drive you. I want to drive myself silly. Go give me the car keys. Madam, I beg. You know if it's possible at all. You know if it's possible. A guy himself don't instruct me, say, anytime when you won't go out, make me and they drive you, they come out. Go anywhere where you won't go. Now my job be that. <laughs> I can see that you started overcrossing your bounds in this house. If you don't give me those khakis, consider yourself out of this house. <laughs> out of this house? Eh, hey, I won't come out. You feel it? See, I think come out from this house, but you see that key, you go go call Julius Beja. They go use their crane, open my hand, come out the key. I know they give you. Okay, say make I no ever let you come out alone. Abi, you think say now only drive like come here, come to drive. <laughs> What's the meaning of that? Leave, leave matter for Matthias. As I don't tell you, make I go inside, lock door, come out. I go carry you. Go any place where you want go. Me, I no want take any risk at all at all. I no want take any risk. You want, if anything can happen to you now, I can come back. Now me, everything go to poke for head. Only me. I know one time. I know one time. See the other day. Uh, you go, you, you just go out. Come they come back. Come carry two big. I say, when you get back, come back. Come they come back from inside house. What? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Okay. Are you? Ah! Look at this idiot calling me a prostitute. Huh? Madam. Hey, look at this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You what? Can you imagine this whip round me? Huh? Hey! Who was that? Who was this? How? I just. You call me a riff raff? You call me a riff raff? See what I tell you? I think many people like you like you. Give them the house. They give them food. Why I'm not him out! Love it! Who's. Get! Get! I'm so sorry. What sorry? What sorry, love it? Huh? I am totally disappointed in you. Just look at yourself, love it. Huh? Is this what you tolerate in your house? Yet you say your husband loves you. You can beg for khaki before you can even go out. Huh? This is bondage. Can't even take this. No, no, no. Hey! Just, um... I am leaving. Could you please stand up to open the gate and me leave this place? I don't wish to come back here again. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're not coming to bed yet. What's the matter? Honey, you didn't touch your meal. I told you when I came back that I wanted pap. But I had already prepared yam and egg before you came in. Besides, it's your favorite meal. Yes. But tonight, I said I wanted pap. 
knocked yam and egg. Are you going to force this down my throat? Baby, I'm tired. I overworked myself in the office today. I need some rest. Mm. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can go to bed, eh? I'll starve. Honey, please don't be difficult. It's 11.30. Where do you expect me to get back by this time? That is why I said, don't worry. I will starve this night. Please, uh, Meg, I don't, I don't have time for headache this night, please. Mark, you've not dressed. You know we have an outing, remember? No need mood for any outing. Why? But you agree. I said I'm not in the mood for any outing, okay? I have other things bothering me other than just grooving around town. I can see you're getting tired. That's of not you. the point. See, I lost my job because of you. Based on your promise of getting me fist up somewhere. But I've made it up to you. I mean, look at yourself. You've never lacked anything. Moreover, you're even better off than some of your colleagues. That shouldn't stop you from keeping your promise. It shouldn't. Moreover, I'm a man. I deserve independence. I don't have to depend on you for my daily needs. I don't need to. Mark, you shouldn't take it that way, okay? You shouldn't. So tell me, how do I take it? Huh? But tell me, my precious, beautiful lady. Huh? I see you want me to be happy while you, you use me as a toy. Huh? Mention around with other guys why I treat my love to the dogs. I beg your pardon? Mark, you know you are the only man in my life. Sylvia, you know you can never deceive me. You know that I know that you know that you can never deceive me. Sylvia, you can never deceive me. Never. Wait, wait. Just let me are you walking out on me? Mark! Honey, please hurry up. You should be late for the interview. Ready. Oh no, sweetie. I don't like what you're wearing. Uh, it's the one I prefer. The one inside. I just bought it. I prefer this one. Okay. This is what I want to wear. But the one inside is better. I mean, th this doesn't suit an interview. Okay. So else. what you're saying is I've been wearing rags all this while, eh? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. I was only caring. See, I. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't need an overzealous person. Picking out faults in what I wear, all in the name of caring. Take that stupid shirt and return it back from where you bought it. For you, huh? Come on, you don't have to stab me. Please just, just leave me alone, okay? I am not a sex toy. <sighs> but you know you are the only guy that turns me on. Believe me, I am doing something about your job, but it hasn't been easy. Please, please, I'm not in the mood for any discussion now, okay? Just, just let me be. I need to rest. What has come over you? What do you think you are? Huh? What do you take me for? I think I've given you enough liberty. And that's why you're missing. 
See who is talking. See that you're the one messaging up and you know it. See, see I, I, I give you every part of my life. And yet you don't even regard my feelings. All you, all you care about is how to, to satisfy your sexual desire. Anyway, I don't even have time to exchange words with you. But by the time I come back from work tomorrow, you must have packed out of this house. Silly. Now today, you don't tell. Tell me which kind of life it is. Not today, you don't tell. Mark, please, don't even think about it, okay? I know my friend. She was just upset. Okay, please. Please, huh? Salome, you just you don't understand. You don't. It is better I leave. I hate insults. See, I hate it with a passion. Yes. But please stay. I promise I'll talk to my friend when she gets Okay? Please. Just sit down, let me get you something to eat. So what's the meaning of all this? How do you know? You're questioning me. Huh? Do you want to bring me alive? Is that your plan? How can you put hot water for me in that bathtub without informing me that that water is hot? I'm sorry, it wasn't intentional. I thought the water would have cooled off a bit by the time you'd be ready to use it. Or better you could have run some water from the tap to you. Shut up! Are you, are you, are you, are you a dunce? Did you know that that tap isn't running anymore? Eh? Anyway, I, I didn't check the tap to see if it wasn't running. I'm over, I don't have to shout at me! If you talk to me again, after I have spoken to you, I will slap Eh? You can't dare it. <laughs> 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 handle my boyfriend, okay? But as a friend, I can always advise you. He has sacrificed the Lord for your happiness. Oh, yeah? Because of you, he lost his job. Remember? Really? And you suggest I tie the knot with him? Who's talking about marriage? All I'm saying is you should keep your promise and let him work. Not now. I am not through with him yet. The moment he gets a new lease of life, he will abandon me. Not Mark. Can't you see he's in love? He'll always hang around, hoping that you'll change your mind someday and marry him. Ha! By the way, what does he need a job for, huh? He gets more money from me than any pen could pay him. Just grant his wish. No way! Sylvia, I said no way. Till I get a replacement. Someone who's ready to make me feel like a real woman the way he does. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. man! Wow! What is it? 
I have made it at last. I can't believe this. <laughs> Woo! Can you imagine? Oh my God! One of the I'm happy for you. Has made it at last. No more hide the job. No more sitting down, holding the leg, watching telly, looking around. I'm happy for you, man. Seven. I'm being vindicated. I can't. I One of the so interviews I attended, I heated at last. I've been employed. <laughs> no more hide the job, no more sit and idle. I can now work. That's the most amazing part of it. That's nice. So, my love, what do you think? I'm happy for you. Aren't you happy for me? Huh? Look at me now. Seven. Come on. This is my working again. No more hide the sitting. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this one. Cross my legs, sit down behind you, get bored. Just thinking. When will I walk? I'm free at last. What's wrong, your friend? <coughs> Hi. Ah, uh, look. I'm sorry. Sorry for what, what happened to you today. I was, I guess I was stupid. I, I wasn't thinking before. Please forgive me. Why not let him be? You, you're hurting me by your presence. No. Hey, hey, don't, 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 hey, hey. Calm down, Tess. Just, just, just calm down and listen to me. You know, you mean the whole world to me. I can't do anything without you. Please. Don't pester me. I'm not coming back to your house. You will be Yes. You don't love me. I know. But I love you. I love you. Listen, I love you. I was just being stupid. I was frustrated, that's all. Very frustrated. I'm sorry. Let's see what is going on here. Young man, who are you? I'm um, sorry, madam. I'm, I'm a friend of Tess. I just, um, I just came in to check on her. I'll be my way. Excuse me. Tessie, treat the files on my desk. If anyone looks for me, you tell them to wait for me. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Next time you have a problem with your man, you treat it at home. Don't you ever bring me to my office again. Do we understand ourselves? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Sylvia, <laughs> you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my eyes. Mm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you are flattering me, huh? Not of course, you know, but just a sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Bello? Yeah? Can you do me a favor? Well, 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 not just, it will be my utmost pleasure to, to grant you anything you wish or anything. Just, just, just name it. <laughs> a young man was employed in your firm. His name is Mr. Mark Ibe. Yeah. And he'll be resuming duty on Monday. Yes, of course. I want that his appointment terminated with immediate effect. Sylvia, is there any problem? I don't want to go into details. Just do it for me. Hmm? Come on, Mr. Bello. This is not a big deal. Well, I know you can do it. I've been trying to get this open. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, the moment I overheard you talking to the MD of Mark's new firm over the phone, I knew you were up to something. Salome, Mark already has a job. 
Hmm? It's just that he failed to take it that way. You know, so many guys out there are ready to jump at the simple job of making a beautiful woman like me feel good in bed. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Since you insist on having it your way, then you must find a means to make him see it the same way before he develops high blood pressure. Excuse me. Sweetheart, you don't have to kill yourself over a penny work job. Hmm? Honestly, I, I prefer to do sitting idle, okay? The sooner you realize you're not idle, the better. Look at you. Don't you know you're occupied? <laughs> occupied with what? With me, of course. <sighs> Come on, sweetheart, we're doing a nice job on me. You are giving me what I desire most in life. Sylvia, sometimes I can't just understand you. Okay? So, so you mean that's what I spent years at the university for? Hmm? Please, I beg you. Don't just annoy me, okay? Please. an equivalent of what the job you lost could have earned you in the next six months. In addition, by next month I'll get you a car. So how about that? Feeling so lonely, especially now that Chooks is out of the country. <laughs> Please. I mean, even if I am yearning for company, certainly not yours. No, thank you. Love it. We are sisters. You are my kid sister. Let's stop this cats and dog game, please. What is wrong with me inviting over for a weekend? What is your problem? You started it first. You should have thought of that before you started it first. And since you started the game, I like the game, so I'm playing the game. You have to excuse me. I'm, oh, my manners. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please do have a seat. I'm so busy. I know you'll be tired of sitting. Definitely. When you're tired, that's the door. Excuse me. Yeah. How are you? 
Hello. I'm fine. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. So what are you doing here? Actually, I came, you know, scouting for job vacancies around. Really? Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. You lost your job a few months back, right? Exactly. Oh, my God. All right. Why don't you give me a call tomorrow? I'll see what I can do about oh, this. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me give you my help. Really? Yes. My final problem is that's my car. Give me a call tomorrow. I'll make something about it. Thank you very much. All right. See you tomorrow, All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Mecca, the guy I told you so much about. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Shall we? Oh! Thank you. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll go straight to the point. Hmm? Emeka, the lady before you here is Mrs. Lovett Chose. She owns a boutique and she's also a contractor. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, you can tell her everything about yourself, although I've told her a little about you. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, no. No, ma'am, please. Love it. Love it is fine. All right. Thank you. Love it. Ah, well, you can see how down to earth she is. Very nice lady. But that's by the way. Can we have some refreshment? Oh, silly me. Uh, love it. Uh, Emeka, please, you. She will tell you where to meet her so that both of you can talk. All right? No Come on, baby. Let's have some refreshments. What do you think? Uh, water is just fine. Uh -huh. No. Oh. <laughs> Why? It's really hot out there, so... Oh, please, get us some drinks. Are you? I know you can. No, my Just come down, I know it. If you like some, just relax yourself. Yeah. She's a very nice lady. Thank you very, very much. Very nice. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks. Obviously, you're a very intelligent young man. I mean, you rarely see guys who combine intelligence with good looks. <laughs> I am. I'm flattered. I am. No, don't be. I'm only being sincere. I want to help you. Not just helping you secure contracts alone. I, I must say I'm grateful, Harvey. I don't believe in love. Yes. But if I ever fall in love, hmm? it must be with a guy who will be under me. Sylvia. God. I mean, how did I meet her? Listen, can you possibly tell me something new? Like something <laughs> different I don't know about you? You know everything about me, love it. All right, all right, all right. Listen. Huh? I think you are under chooks. Hmm? But a mecca is under you. So if I were you, hmm, I wouldn't be afraid to transfer my love to a mecca. And that doesn't stop me from having fun with other guys. Can you possibly be serious for once in your life? <laughs> okay, now stop laughing. <sighs> what? I know that look. Okay, fine. I like the guy. I like him. Yes. But do I? Okay, I like him. I don't. I like him. You like him. Come 
a very special person. And special guys deserve the best. And that is what I'm willing to give to you. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it very much. You know, I want to do something about your situation. But, I don't want you working anymore. Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, okay, that, that's nice. Just that, I don't want to be idle. You know, I, I'd like to do some things like contract, so I won't just totally depend on you. Oh, come on, Nika. Come on. I'm not complaining. And I don't want you walking before all those men eaters who snatch you away from me. Oh. <laughs> my love, come on. I'm in love with you already. I know. You are my responsibility, so please. How about your husband? Oh, come on. What will he do when he finds out? Forget him. I know how to handle him when he comes back. Trust me. <clears throat> What um, do you want? Um, madam, as a matter of fact, I'm a mechanic person, don't come. And? You say you go take a 15,000 naira repair that car. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, Stanley, meet my cousin, Nika. Nika, Stanley. Um, madam, the mechanic talks say in more than 15,000 naira. I'm going to take repair the whole car. Go and take care of it. I said go. Who's that guy? That's my stupid driver. He gets to my hair. Oh. Driver? Yeah. He gets wait, wait. To my hair. Driver? Mm -hmm. Do you see the way this guy was staring at me? Man, come on. He's, he's rude. He's, I mean, Oh my love, I'm sorry. Come on, I mean, you don't have a problem with me. Who's he staring at me like that? I don't like this guy, man. He's too bold. <laughs> Come on. I have a surprise for you. Really? Mm -hmm. What is it? How about changing your wardrobe a little bit? You know, giving you a new look. No. Mm-hmm. For real? Come on, pick anything you want. Anything. Hmm. Don't start now because Girl. my eyes are somewhere. Silly you. Come on. Look at that. I've been looking at that for a while. <laughs> Which of them? This one? This will look good on me, you know, with um something like this. Which of them? Hmm, this is my tail. Mm. Alright. Alright. Come on, come this way. You come uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Have a shoes. Come on, go Just ahead. to match on the like I was thinking. Um. Well? My god, this is 40k. 40k, no. Money's nothing. Come on, anything you want. No, no, you don't have to take it already. <laughs> um. So it's 40k too. Yeah, your shoes are quite expensive. Mm -hmm. I learned to travel overseas. Dennis, me? This you. Man, you're looking good. You're looking good. I just said it, bro. I said it. You're looking better. You're looking good. Man, Benny. That's another thing. Okay. Give me a minute. But then, so, so then you, you look. So, so you, you, you said you, like you were deported. So, I was deported. So, why not take a ride with me so we can talk about Dennis? Yeah. No, don't play with me. Benny. You mean that is your car? That's my car. Dennis, oh! Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go.
Have you seen? Give me him! This place is beautiful. Dear. May I just sit down? Jesus Christ. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be with you. Thanks. Hold on, hold on. Do yeah. you stay here with me? No, I stay with my cousin. Cousin? Yeah. I'm coming. They need so much. I'm coming. I want to be like you. This lady. Who is this? Mm. That is a uh, sister, sister Rosalind Bachelor. I need to come back to the church. Dear, she is fine. Ah. Yeah, she is. Jesus Christ. Combines beauty with wealth. Beauty with wealth and intelligence. They are not serious. <laughs> Dennis, who? Dennis! Oh, you are too much. <laughs> you are just too much. God has blessed me. God has blessed me, bro. God has blessed me. Dennis, I'm happy for you. You know what? She is the general manager of Gonix Investment Nigeria Limited. You are not serious. Yeah. I'm coming with a shocker. Tech. Dennis, who? Take, I'm coming to give you a shocker. But cheers to the good life. Mm. Now take the shocker. This good. That's just the Rosalind. Mm -hmm. Imagine. She's my wife to be. Uh, now, now, <laughs> now hold on a minute. First, this house. The next, your car. Yeah. And now you want to get married. I can't help it. Just to enjoy the blessings of the Almighty God. So when is the wedding being on? Man, don't mind my faith. You know what? I have not proposed to her yet. <laughs> I see you speaking with so much confidence. Speaking with so much confidence. Yeah, you, you won't change. You won't change. You can't stop being funny, man. You can't stop being funny. Oh my God. Me and my brother I want to be like you. I want to be like you. Mm. you see, that, that reminds me. You're back to something more serious. Mm. See, you mentioned the possibility of you know one getting contracts yeah. and you know um, both business through your members in your church. Now, how true is that story? Now, don't go playing with me, bro. Don't no, go no, playing no, no. with me. Listen, listen, Danny. You know me very well. I know, I know. I do, I do. In our church, mm. we have a good number of wealthy and kind people. Are you serious? So all you need to do is liaise with the pastor. The pastor? Yeah. So what are we waiting the for? The pastor man? will now be the one that will persuade these people to do to give you some contracts. So what are we waiting for? Let's start going. Yeah, I no, can't no, no. wait. No, no, I no, can't listen, wait. Listen. Are you sure the well, pastor will always the be there? The pastor there? is not running away. Are you sure the pastor will always be there? The pastor is always there are for you, you sure? and I. He is always there Don't for you and I. Don't play with me. Don't play tricks. Bro, Benny, one thing first. What was that? Okay. That you have to give your life to Jesus Christ. Look at this man. I was even expecting to say something about rituals or something. Money, money <laughs> laundering. You are talking about giving my life to Christ. That's all. That is all. That's it. That's it. Man, my brother, you don't know what I've been through. See, I am tired of being poor. I understand how you feel. I, I am blessed. It tastes good. I am just blessed. It tastes very good. That's the yeah. more reason I have to Listen, join your when church. When the glory of God come upon you, bro. You have to help me and see, I am tired of being poor. Dennis, I am tired. I, I know how you feel. See, too. I've been through a whole lot these few years. I've been through a whole lot. And it's not funny. You see, if giving my life to Christ is going to bring the desired success, so why not? In fact, I could go on my knees so you start praying for me right listen, this moment. Listen, listen, Danny. You see, when the favor of God is upon you, that settles it. 
when is how soon is he coming? How Just soon? Just take it as a dream. But I, the pastor is there. I should believe you. Believe God. Uh, Maybe he's with his girlfriend. What the f hey, hey! What? Wait. Maybe he's where? I said maybe he heard me. You mean he lied to me like and you knew? Come on, baby, that's not an issue. It is an issue! I mean <laughs> first you make me fall in love with the guy, and then next time it's not an issue. Hello? Come on, baby girl. A mega is just like a toy in your hands. Oh! Oh, just give him a reading and he dance to it. Come on. Come on, talk about it. No, 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 no! I mean, hey, hey, I can't believe you knew I didn't tell you. Come on, it's okay, it's okay. What? Don't you, don't you? It's oh, okay, no. Please. I mean, I can't believe you knew that. I have no time to entertain stupid questions. You know what? Pack your things and get out of my house. What? It's still gaping at me. I said, pack your things and get out of my house. Oh my God. I'm talking, I said, pack your things and leave my house. What, 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 what's so deep in that one? every link between us. Please. You guys are all the same. Lies, lies, lies! How could you even leave me on so much? Huh? Do you even think that you have a girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. I don't even love her. She lives in your house. All I'm asking you to do is forgive me. Please. I love you. Mr. Vito, can you hear me? Hello? I'm in the hotel right now. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 I said I'm in the hotel right now. Hello? Mr. Victor? Hello, wait, can you hear me? Thought says the Lord God of hosts, you 
adulterers and adulteresses. You that go around chasing. Are you dead? A man or a woman?
and the deliverance starts now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up all your hands towards heaven and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. We say, Thank you, Jesus. Father, the book of life says that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, you shall grant thy request. Mm -hmm. For that same book of life says that if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us, it will revitalize our mortal bodies. Mm -hmm. Father, I evoke that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Let it dwell in this family. Amen. The Bible says that it does send spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us. It will revitalize our mortal bodies. Amen. By this I evoke that same spirit. Amen. Hey, sisters, take it. Amen. 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 Take it, they shun to the Kababa Shantara Kabashite. Power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God is good. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus! She's bleeding! Oh my God! She's bleeding! Oh, Sister Rose! Oh my God! Oh. Let's take her to the hospital, please. Let's take her to the hospital, please. Oh my God! All right, let's take her to the hospital, please. Sister Rose, I think God has a hand in what has happened to you recently. You see, the deliverance we did has yielded results. But don't be grieved that you lost your baby. You see, the bond between you and Benson has been broken. Moreover, Sister Rose, God has revealed to me that you are my wife. I almost doubted him, but I linked it to that of Joseph in the Bible. And I wondered, how can a woman pregnant for another man be my wife? But you know, our ways are different from his ways. Sister Rose, God has given you to me as my wife. This is a dream come true. Pastor. Yes, Sister Rose. I accept you to be 